sound like my friend Micah can. I don't know how he does that. Come in. That's my imitation of Micah. If you don't know Micah, he's from Breathe Owl Breathe and we made up a song at my piano once. Oh my gosh, that makes me feel so happy. Anyway, a few years ago. It was a series of risks. Ask for what you want of the world. And by the world, I mean people. I never understood that. I mean, go ahead and ask the universe. If that's how you believe or ask God if that's how you believe I believe in God but I mean the way you know if there is something out there that's giving you things or helping you with things it's using people so ask those people talk to people tell them who you are tell them what you want tell them where you're going where you're wanting to go or where you feel led. Go to the places where you feel led. 
as best you can. I'm terrible at it. I'm trying. I'm trying to get better. Make your own um, inner compass a priority, if you can. Or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Because I've had these skills, not kalimba skills, piano, piano performance skills since a really long time ago. And I remember how it was feeling getting older and older year after year and feeling like I had all these skills. I had paid for all this training. I had paid in money and in time. Ever since I was like, you know, writing songs since I was really little, before school age. And then piano lessons, you know, year after year and writing songs as, you know, official piano songs as young as elementary school and Casio pop songs before that, just pushing some buttons and singing and dancing with my friends. So it's like, clearly it's what I love to do. And then it's also what I trained to do. So then I should just do it. It's very simple. There's a lot of things that I think are very complicated or complex that are actually very simple. And the type of attention you get or don't get from what you love to do is fairly irrelevant to growing. It's not irrelevant to money or success or fame or all those things that I don't really have at all. <laughs> I why I said really, I don't have them. Um, but it's fairly irrelevant to your own ability to grow and evolve in your own life. Like YouTube exists, so that's what I'm using. And Instagram exists and I enjoy pictures and talking in the writing part, you know, so I, I use that. Um, never really got into Twitter. I used to use Facebook more. Um, they changed some algorithms a little bit, so I, I do care that some of the people that I care about see what I post, so, so I don't really use my business page on Facebook as much as I once did because I'm not a business. <laughs> um, anyway, it's all fun. Have fun with your life. Have fun with the people around you, if you can. Not everybody wants to go do something as solitary as write songs by themselves everywhere. And the world would be a lonely place if we all did this. So I'm not saying do anything like this. Do whatever your version of this is, even if it's 100% opposite of this, you know? I don't know. Fishing. Literally anything. I'm not going to start listing things. <laughs> um... Yeah, I feel really self-conscious not knowing what this looks like. There's my messy tour car. Last night's show was really nice, but I think I already rambled that in a video. This, if you want to have a quick kalimba lesson, the scale is alternating like that. And I've still not learned I haven't formulated patterns in my brain on how to make chords quickly, so as I was making up that song, I was just happy to know that this one kind of made me feel like a major one chord, and when I went like this, it kind of made me feel like a four chord. So if you don't know music theory, I may talk more about that someday. I'm available by FaceTime or Skype, well, FaceTime, to do private music theory lessons if you ever need help, like testing out of uh, college level music theory. I was a TA in college, that was my first cool job. I mean, I had like, you know, jobs, like ice cream scooping, but, and I actually had already music directed a musical by then, but being a TA in my music conservatory as a freshman or a sophomore and getting paid to administrate college level music theory exams, like ear training exams, that was like, that was a high point for me. <laughs> so all those like 10 years of doing theory books with my piano teacher and piano competitions like paid off because I kind of tested it out of or, you know, then music theory at the college level got to feel easy for me. So, and I still know, I still know all of it or a lot of it and I teach it to my piano students all the time and I, I love talking about music theory. So if you're watching this and you want to understand pianos and Guitars, I can teach like the theory behind the guitar, but I'd still recommend just get a book of chords and make the shapes and learn to play them. But I can explain to you why certain chords go together, why certain ones are major, why certain ones are minor within any scale, within any key, 
how all the keys, um, key as in a combination of eight notes, like a scale, how those all relate to each other, and how even a key that has no sharps or flats is the same as a key that has like all flats or something, and how it's just a system of whole and half steps, and just, it always sounds really complicated to people who haven't studied theory, but I've been teaching it for so long that it feels very sequential to me to teach it now. Um, so yeah, if that interests you, I love teaching like right brainers, creative thinkers, people who need a lot of visual um, concepts. I'm gonna make a little like PDF thing that I give to my students in the future of, you know, all 12 major keys and then their corresponding minor keys and just kind of outline if you're a songwriter, like what chords would go with what and why. And I'm even gonna include like the anomaly chords. Um, I've handwritten this out for a ton of my piano students in the past. Um, but I'm realizing I should just have one uniform, like PDF or booklet that people can reference. So I did not mean to pitch my piano teaching or my songwriting mentoring. I do also songwriting mentor. Um, one of my really big passions is watching when people get blocked um, and the ways they block themselves, usually from feedback, negative feedback or confusing feedback, and then they start to shut down a little bit and lose their light. Um, whatever it is that makes them feel connected and like it's authentic and flowing and then helping them kind of find find where the blocks have come in and what thoughts have lodged in their brains to make them feel less joy than they used to feel when they were creating and it, it's actually I'm honestly passionate about just writer's block or creative blocks in general so I can work with artists I can work with creative, I don't know why I said creative people, <laughs> I said with a weird uh, I got lost in my own mind, I had, I was talking while I was thinking a different thought, that's very dangerous, um, it's kind of like if you're in a piano competition and you notice something in the room and you have to keep playing the notes but you're accidentally thinking about that thing and it's like, <gasps> it's terrifying, and what they taught me at the conservatory, free tip for you, whatever, these are all free, um, uh, what they taught me is like turn your ears back to the notes that you're playing like listen to it the way you would listen to a singer almost like you're singing along in your mind while you're playing and you can get your mind off of whatever that is all right thanks rock island illinois and augustana college for letting me sit in your parking lot Bye bye oh you probably just saw my apple core <laughs> i just finished eating it i swear oh my gosh this is so weird My little thumb piano. It's kalimba. I don't know if this is close enough to hear it. I don't know how this looks. I normally do them with my own phone like this. Blah, blah, blah. But. <laughs> well, obviously when I'm playing an instrument, I drop it somewhere. But uh, but I can't see what I look like or what this looks like or how the angle is or how the lighting is. Because this is my Zoom. Hi, Zoom. Uh, anyway. There you go, I'm going to turn off my car so it doesn't kick in. The Prius, so it sometimes, well, Brian's car, sometimes just kick. Oh my gosh, I was going to try to start with the song right away, and now I'm talking again. Alright. Okay, here you go. I think I need some closer audio. Sounds really quiet. Best laid plans, good intentions. Here we go. <laughs> Take four thousand and one. <laughs>